Hello, Evelyn McKnight, One Arm University. Thank you for joining today. Today we're going to talk about the being in the water. I posted another earlier version of being in the water with one arm, but I've learned a few things in the past five years and I'd like to show those to you. So get your swim cap on and let's get started. A handy device that I found was, is called the Aqua Jogger. There are other brands as well. It is, uh, provides you with a very good workout uh, doing water aerobics. You can do water aerobics as I showed in the previous film, just uh, standing on the floor of the pool. But this keeps you afloat. You're more in the deep end and your feet aren't on the floor of the pool. So it's a more challenging workout and I've really enjoyed uh, using the aqua jogger. So to strap it on you need the strap to, to pull out the strap a little bit longer and then you lean against a wall. You might have to turn to the side a bit. Find the other buckle, the other end of the buckle, and then put, put the buckle together Sometimes you have to fumble a little bit to get it just right in place. And sometimes you really have to use that wall to hold it in place. There it goes. And then you pull very, cinch it real tight around your waist. And then put the, the loose end, the long end, into the slit so that it isn't flapping around as you're doing your water aerobics. What also comes with the aqua jogger is a hand weight. So that gives you a little bit extra drag when you're in the water and that helps strengthen your upper arm and uh, shoulders. And then also these ankle weights. And again, they're, they're not really weights in the sense that they're heavy, but they give you more drag in the, in the water. And so that gives you an extra workout uh, for your legs. So I sit down for this, use one leg to hold the end of the water weight in place, and then strap it on. and the other one. And I've found that a lot of times people at the pool will ask me if they can help, but usually I can get it done myself. I have three main exercises that I like to do with the aqua jogger. Basically, it's the cross country stroke, the um, jumping jacks and then running in place. So the cross country is just like a cross country skiing pace. And then you know, we all know jumping jacks and then just running in place. So here's the cross country ski. Your opposite hand goes with the opposite leg. And then you can see that I am not standing on the bottom of the pool. So you've got more resistance, it's a little more work. Running in place is easy. You might find yourself moving actually across the pool. And then what I do to get back is uh, this stroke, which really exercises your core. And then jumping jacks, we know those as well. Okay, with the aqua jogger or in any exercise, make sure that you really maintain good upright posture, really engage the muscles on your uh, residual side 
so that they stay nice and strong and healthy. So make sure that you really lock in your um, the side that, that has the uh, disabled arm so that all of those muscles all the way up and down your core um, stay engaged and exercised and strong. In my previous in the water video I talked about swimming laps and I demonstrated a method that you um, move your your head and uh, grab a breath as you turn your head but I've learned that using the snorkel is just a lot easier but still a very good workout so I've adopted always using my snorkel when I'm swimming laps. With the snorkel I think it's really helpful to have a swim hat on because it just keeps all of that hair out from underneath the mask and so you get a better fit. To put the swim hat on I just grab it with my teeth and pull it on. Now this swim hat isn't waterproof but I don't think any really are but it does the trick as far as, as keeping hair out of your eyes and out of your mask. Uh, then the snorkel, again, you start with the mask up on your forehead and pull the strap down and back. And it takes some adjustment, but eventually you get to it. And then find your snorkel and when you breathe in through your nose you should have a really good seal it should really hug your face and I've got that now and then the snorkel goes in your mouth fins are really important when you're swimming laps uh, they, they really are the workhorse in terms of keeping you afloat. So get good quality fins. I like the little shorter ones. They come in various lengths. But for me, the, sh the ones that are medium to shorter in length um, work fine. And they're not so cumbersome and bulky when you're trying to get from your seated area to into the water. So. Uh, they do fit snug, which is what you want. So there you go. learned that um, it's really important to use the ladder to get out of the pool. When I had two arms, I could hoist myself up by putting my hands on the deck and then just pushing up, but you can't do that with one arm. So I always use the ladder and I uh, point my knees in the direction of my arm and pull myself up with my arm as well as using my legs to exit the pool. These are some of the tricks that I've learned after five years of being in One Arm University to navigate being in the water a little bit easier. Please let us know what your tricks are, what you do, how you navigate being in the water with one arm. Join us again next time 
and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.